Welcome to Clear Vision Wednesday. This is my daily, not daily, weekly live show. I'm Claudia Mühlenweg. I'm the um, founder of the Natural Clear Vision Institute. And every week I go live and share with you easy ways to improve your vision. And there's a difference between eyesight and vision, and we will look at that today. So eyesight is how sharp you can see on an eye chart. I have eye charts hanging in my room here. That's your, what's known as the visual acuity. Before we dive deeper, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell icon so that you get notified when I go live. I do that every single week on Wednesday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. So today we're talking about vision and vision means many things. It means color vision. It means binocular vision, how the two eyes work together. It means night vision. It means peripheral vision. Right. So there's all vision is also the vision for our life. Vision is more of an overall um, term for our eyesight. So today I want to show you a 60 second exercise, but a little bit of anatomy before we get started so that you understand why we do this and why it makes sense. So I this is a tray, obviously, but I'm trying to demonstrate there's two types of cells in the retina. There's cone cells and rod cells. Now, the cone cells. Remember cone like CO, color. They see in color. The rod cells see in black and white. That might sound crazy, but let me get to that. So the cone cells see in color and the rod cells see in black and white. When you're ever at night without any light, nothing, you see no colors. Everything is black and white because those rod cells are the cells that give us night vision. They're very, very light sensitive. In fact, 100,000 times more light sensitive. But what they don't do, they don't see very sharp. The cone cells, on the other hand, those are the cells that give us color and the visual acuity. So when you look at the eye chart and you see 2020 or 2040 or 2010, that's what the cone cells do. And so how are they distributed in the retina? So when you think of your eyeball, the back of the eye obviously is the is the retina where, the, where those photoreceptors are housed. And here's what I'm trying to demonstrate. So when the, imagine this tray to be the back of your retina in the center, and it's not directly in the center because, because we have two eyes and it's meant for two eyes working together, but forget about that right now. So in the center is the fovea lutea, the yellow spot. That's why we have the, in the maculas around it. That's why we have the sharpest vision. And that's only cone cells. Only cone cells are in the center of your eyes. That's why you have the most color vision, the best sharp acuity in the center of your eyes. And if you have macular degeneration, that area of the eye is affected and you will lose some of your or all of your color vision, depending on how much of the macula is affected. And you will also not be able to see sharp. Now, at the very outer edges of our retina, here where the blue is, that is, this is where all the rod cells are. So the rod cells are in the outer periphery down here. When you look straight all the way around here are the rod cells. And in between, in between the, where the yellow is here on the tray, is a blend of both cone cells and rod cells. So that's why things look kind of color for us, even like in some part of the periphery. But if you're ever driving a car, you're driving and somebody is moving on the side, you don't see the color of that car. You only see it either when you look over or when that car is depending on the color at a certain angle in your more like middle periphery area. So there's a near periphery, there's a middle periphery, and then there's the outer periphery. And for most humans, it's a little bit over 200 degrees and outer periphery on the sides. We have a little bit less, I mean, I don't know, I think it was 70, I don't know exactly the numbers, but we have less periphery on the top than we have on the bottom. My guess is because we don't have that many predators coming from the top, but there's more danger down on the ground and from the side. That's, I don't know, I didn't study human biology, but that's, does that all make sense? So that's the prerequisite. So at night, I touched on this already, we only see in black and white. And those are the cells, the rod cells that give us night vision. And those same cells, photoreceptor cells, give us peripheral vision. So remember that when you're driving at night and there's no light, you do not see sharp in the center of your eyes and you do not see color. So again, remember this, right? Rod cells, night vision, and then in the middle, there's a little bit of both. So the easiest way to train this is to stimulate your peripheral vision because that's the vision that we need at night to see well 
And it's also during the daytime, right? When you're driving, you want good peripheral vision. You don't want that tunnel vision, you know, and you don't see that person or that motorcyclist or the pedestrian, whatever it is. So we want that peripheral vision. It's great for daytime driving, for anything daytime, for hiking, biking, but it's particularly important to be safe at night. So the technique I'm gonna show you today, um, and I have a little timer right here because I wanna say, make sure it's 60 seconds. What you will need is a strip of paper. And I have two strips here. One is a little wider, one is a, one is a little longer. So this one leaves open more of the bottom periphery. This one leaves a little bit less. And obviously the wider the strip, the more of your central vision is blocked, right? You can go really wide and just have the outer peripheral vision. It doesn't really matter. It's easier with a strip that's not so wide. So this one is, I think it was three inches, about eight centimeters wide. Don't worry about exactly measuring it. And this one is about four and a half inches or 11 centimeters, something roughly like this. So what you will do before we get started, you know, you want to be in a safe place. Ideally, you are, um, you know, in your house or somewhere because we want to walk around. Obviously, I'm not going to leave this computer, but you want to be able to move around a little bit. And before we get started, I would like for you to do a little test. So stretch out your arm and um, my arm is my... Stretch out your arm and basically move around your arm and then kind of look straight ahead and notice when do you not see your waving hand anymore? And then maybe, you know, stretch out your arm and then look over where is that spot on the wall where my peripheral vision stops, where I cannot see my moving hand on the right side. And you do the same on the left side. So you start here and then you move it. Obviously, I see myself in the screen, but you, at some point there will be a point when you don't look over there, just look straight ahead where you do not see that moving hand and you might straighten your arm and then you kind of look. So you have some markers as to where you were before. Um, obviously the most important part is side peripheral vision for driving. So, but we can obviously stimulate our lower periphery too. But today we focus on this because it's mostly about driving. All right, so I'm gonna start with my little more narrow patch and I put it on and then I would set my timer. So I make sure it's really 60 seconds. Oop, there you go. Hard to see. Okay. So now I encourage you to walk around the house, but at a minimum, like do this, move your hands, move them and move them back, move them further back than where you see kind of in, in and out. You can squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lots of movement. If you have any kind of colorful objects, it's really great to do. You can also, you know, throw a ball, you want to make it a little bit more hard. Throw and catch a little colorful ball. Basically, you want to stimulate this. I prefer moving around, but I'm going to stay here. No worries. Moving around your house, walking. Notice how things are moving in the periphery as you're walking forward. There's lots of movement. Um, you can turn around, go outside. This is great to do in nature. So keep doing that. Is my timer ringing? Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, so time is over. My little stop. <laughs> so now I want you to go back to where you were before, like wave your hands and then right side first and notice when you don't see it anymore. And then I gained like this much from the second 60 second ex exercise. And then here, same here, about this much in terms of my peripheral field. Now doing this a little longer, is gonna get you better results. I recommend if you really wanna get the best results, maybe do it for like three, four, five, six minutes. And then obviously you're gonna to graduate to a wider shield. And one thing I forgot to say in the beginning, you want to look into the shield, into this paper. Do not try to look around it. You wanna look straight ahead so that you're really stimulating your peripheral vision. So doing a little bit wider patch. And now you can do the same thing and you can go even wider and it's really good throwing a yellow tennis ball, or this is a beanbag, something in colorful colors. Beanbags are easier because they don't bounce away. So if you drop them, no big deal, you just pick them up. Let's see. <laughs> so basically you want to stimulate your vision, peripheral vision with movement and so on. So this is a really important way to see better at night is stimulating your peripheral cells. Because again, at night, you can test this by looking at stars. At night, we do not see best where we look at, but we see better 
right next to that again because there's no broad cells in the for in the macula in the center of your eye so you kind of have to like imagine like this and during the daytime you would look at this eye and you notice that you see this eye better but this eye is not as you don't see it as well so if you want to see this eye you're going to switch your attention to this eye right at night it's a little bit different if you want to see this eye really well at night you have to look next to that eye or like imagine stars in the sky so because at night we do not have vision in the exact center of the eyes and we do not have sharp vision assuming again assuming there's no lights right no moon no street lights no none of that um that's how it works and that's why we have to even to look straight ahead at night those are the rod cells working and that's what we have to train with by stimulating the periphery now before i go I would love for you to, so there's a tool that a colleague of mine developed that I think is fantastic. It's um, the Oberbound Eyesight Clarity Trainer. And it, it's very precise because um, Irina Castle, the founder of this company, she created different shields. So this is a shield for near periphery. And what I like about this one is you also see the upper periphery. So it's not like the paper strip where everything is blocked. You can also stimulate your upper periphery here. This is, by the way, really important if you struggle with glaucoma, computer vision, if you wear glasses a lot, all of our peripheral vision is kind of gone more for a lot of people. We have this tunnel vision focusing on the computer. So this tool comes with a near peripheral shield. It has a middle, it's a little magnet that you snap on. So there's a middle periphery. And then here is also a, a far periphery. So you can be very precise. Um, she in, originally developed this for sports, for athletes, because athletes, especially team sports, you have to be really good with the peripheral vision and noticing when things are happening, when the ball goes, gets thrown somewhere. So that's why this was originally developed. And it also comes with um, basically a single shield. So you can use, you can work a lot with one eye at a time. And again, what I love is you have top periphery side and bottom periphery. So this is my favorite tool I recommend it to all my clients. But if you want to stick to simply a paper strip, that's a great exercise. Any way where you can block your central vision, you can use a big post-it sticker and try it out and let me know. See if I have any questions in the chat. Um, all right. I don't see any questions on YouTube live, so we will answer any questions afterwards if there is any questions. Um, basically, this is the way to improve your peripheral vision. And trust me, it's life-saving, especially in traffic, especially driving at night. Okay, bye YouTube.